Hello everyone, I'm Leo Ding, one of the founders of Racket Motion Studio. We produce creative stories with animation. With an online course, you can make similar shorts like this. Welcome to my motion drop. I don't know why you think that you could help me when you couldn't get by by yourself. In this third week, I will instruct you how to do these scenes 6, 7 and 8 in a storyboard. However, to complete scenes 6, 7 and 8, you need to have quite a lot of knowledge. So I think this will be too much for you to follow. So I have simplified into these two scenes. We will transition from the scene I don't know why to you think that. And I will transform the boat into the taxi. I will turn this sea background into a cityscape. I will also add some effects to make our video more dynamic. One more thing is that we will make this video synchronize along a music track. Upon completion, you have a demo product like this. I don't know why you think that you could... This tutorial is pretty long. Even for myself, it will take around 2 hours. So I will share with you the most fundamental knowledge and the most important techniques so that you can create similar shots. Let's start with separating layers in Illustrator before working in After Effects. Here we have several little tricks. First, you compare these two scenes. You can see that there are a lot of similar features, such as the ground. The color of the ground and the color of the sea is the same. The sky is also the same. Here we have clouds. There we also have clouds. One is interesting is that you can draw in Illustrator and import into After Effects, but there is no need to bring in everything exactly as we draw. The animators, those who do the animation, can be flexible. For example, if we feel something is hard for us to animate, or it is inconvenient to transition, we can be flexible in adjusting it ourselves. Like here we have two clouds, and the next scene also have them. So I delete these two here. We don't really need them. Alright, now I think we can really start. First thing first, I will select these two layers and resize it to full HD resolution, 1920 by 1080 pixel. I drag it like this, and there you are. Next, I will separate the sky. Select it, and press Ctrl X. Create new layer, drag it to the bottom, press Ctrl F. The sky will be pasted in its original position. Now I rename it as sky. Or you can also rename it as background. After that, I will separate this sun. I also cut it, create new layer, and Ctrl F. Here I will name it the sun. For the sun, I will animate the circle as well as these beams. So I will separate them as well. Therefore, I will select all the beams, cut them, paste them into a new layer, and rename it as the sun beam. Later in After Effects, we can animate them. For now, I will cut it out to make the guide. I will hide them away. Next, we have the two clouds. This cloud is not clear, so I will name it Cloud and Dull. Cloud Dull. This second one, I will also separate it. I will name it Cloud White as this color is clearer than the other one. Therefore, the name will be different. Next, I will separate the sea surface. This layer, I will name it uh, sea slash ground. As you can see, that I will use this same layer for the sea and the ground. I will delete this one as well as the background in this side, so as not to get confused. Next, I will separate the text. As I have already outlined this text for you in Illustrator, you don't have to worry about missing fonts. Here I will separate each word. For example, I will separate letter I and name it as I. As for the word don't, I will separate it and name it don't. 
I still have a sore throat, so my voice is not very clear. Up next is the word known. I will also cut it, create new layer, and then paste. We will do likewise for the word why. So now we have separated almost all the shape layers. Afterwards is the wave. I will select all these waves. I will cut it and paste into a new layer, rename it as wave. I will also hide it away. I will hide the ground as well. Now there only remains our main character, this guy who is fishing. Here you should think about how you will animate. Back to my sample, I make this yellow board turn into the taxi. And if you take notice, you can see that on our car there is this white stripe. It corresponds with the white stripe on this boat, so I separate the stripe. And the character on the car is also the same as the character on the boat. The only difference is the head. His clothing is the same. This sign has one more interesting thing, that is the dog. Okay, so now I will begin separating this character. I will ungroup and group all. Selecting these two white stripes, I will copy them. Now I will rename it as white boat one. I will separate both of these layers. I will rename the other one as white boat 2. Since we have many layers, you always have to check whether you have separated correctly. Similarly with the boat, I will separate it and rename it yellow boat. Now we only have the character. And in the character, we will separate the fishing pole. Separate it. I will name it fishing pole. Or you can name it in your own language so that it is easier to remember. Here I will separate this hand. I will name it hand. Next is the hat. I will separate this hat. Here we have another one, but we can name it cap, while the other one is head. With this character, I will ungroup it. I will separate the head and ungroup it like this. I separate the head and name it head. Here you have the body. I will name this layer body. In the future, when you have to animate a character, you can do similarly. So we have just finished separating layers in scene 1. Now I drag this scene 2 in and continue separating this scene 2. This scene is quite easy. I think I will separate it in fewer details. If you notice in my sample video, you can see that I have made the city rise up and the windows appear. In order to do this, there is a simple trick. You also have to pay attention and separate correctly in Illustrator. Firstly, I will double click on this city. Select all the windows, like this. Of course, when you do this, you will also select the city below. To deselect the city, hold the shift key and click on the city. And then only the windows remain. Press Ctrl X, double click to go outside, create new layer, press Ctrl F, and here I rename it as window. And I will separate this city also, and name it city. Here we have two other layers. One is this Vincom building. And the other is the Bitexco. 
we separate them all. By the way, I will warn you a bit on copyright issues. For this tutorial, I have done all the illustrations by myself to help you recreate such interesting scenes. I don't encourage reusing my assets for your own products. It's better for you to draw on your own. Next, I will also separate this text you think that. I will also outline it so you don't have to worry about the font. Then I ungroup all and I choose you, create a new layer, name it you, and paste it. The same with think. I create a new layer and rename it think. Up next is that. Name it that like this. You think that. Now we only have the car left and we have this mug. I will separate this mug, create a new layer and rename it as smug. I will hide it away and have the dog and the car. With the car, you see that uh, we turn the boat into the car. So when we separate this car, we only separate the things that are not readily available. For example, the boat hull will turn into the car frame. Therefore, I will keep this car only as a guide, which means that it serves as a reference for when we import into After Effects, we will base on it to redraw the shape correctly. So now, I will ungroup it, separating the wheel, rename it wheel. Since we have two similar wheels, so I delete one. Other things that I will separate include this car light. I will name it backlight. And this one, what should I call this? I will just name it protector. And here I also have a light in the front. I will name it front light. Now hide the front light. These are two door handles. We see that these two are alike, so I delete one. I will copy it and name it door opener. Name whatever you want as long as you can easily remember your layers. Here I will ungroup this character. I will separate this head. Since both characters are similar, only differ in their heads, so I will only separate one character. For example, here I separate the head. This character I will leave be. Well, there was some faults by drawing, so this character's head looks like that. But it doesn't matter, as we won't be using it. I will also separate the steering panel. I will name it Car Control. Well, I forgot something, which is the mirror name this mirror. Next, I will separate this dog. I will rearrange this dog to the bottom. Now this dog is quite interesting because in the sample I animated its color as well as I made it bark a little. So here, first I will separate this bell. I will name it the bell. And I will also separate its head. Separate it like this. Name it dog head. For the bottom parts, I will name it dog body. Animating the dog will be a fun experience. Here, we also have a seat, so I will cut it. Name it car seat. One tip to help you find your layers easier is, for example, we have a lot of outdoor parts in the car. So you can name car first and then the parts like car mirror, or car wheel, or car seat so that you can select your layers easily. If you import from Illustrator to After Effects and work with hundreds of layers, then you have to consider how you can manage your assets easily. 
Our character also has a tie, so I separate it, rename it cravat. For this layer, I will name it car guide. It's just a guide, we won't be animating this layer. So I have just instructed you how to separate layers in Illustrator so that we can import into After Effects. When you are done with it, remember to save. I will Ctrl Shift S and name the file Beautiful Day Muffing Layered, which indicate that I have completed separating layers.